you're gonna always get that you guy. You deal with just... it really in a good, classy way. Why not? Yeah. You have embrace, fun with it. Embrace the hate. Yeah, that's what I think. Right? Yeah. They're people, yeah, yeah. they gotta live. I mean, yeah. if if your life sucks, become a hater, I guess, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Boston Trucker here. Welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy it. All right. All right. I'm walking around with Gary Donovan. What's up, guys? Owner of Road Plates. <laughs> What's going on, Gary? Not too much. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Everybody should be following. I already told people in the video earlier. Everybody should be following Gary on and Road Plates on all social media platforms. We have a lot of fun. We have a lot of TikTok, fun. TikTok, TikTok, Instagram. Yep. Where else yep. are you? Facebook. Yep. OnlyFans. No. <laughs> no, boy. Who's paying for that? <laughs> Subscribers. Oh, yeah. I don't, I'm not on that. No. No, that's cool. It's not from. Not so, from it's so, what do you think? What do you think of the truck a show, show so quite far? Quite a turnout. Quite a turnout. Yeah. yeah. It's good to see all these it's local nice, guys. A lot here. of trucks. Local guys. A lot how's, of nice How's rigs. the company? Keeping busy? Yeah, we're busy. We're, we're stupid busy. We're stupid busy. So, when people call you up, what are they getting? Are they getting plates for the road? How'd, plates, they, how'd your company trench start? Trench boxes. So, I started in. Uh, I went into business in 1983. Okay. Started doing underground utilities, gas work, water work, and then loaning everybody plates. I figured there was a market for steel plates and trench boxes and yep. phased out one and went into the other. Hey, George. Hey, what's up, Blake? Hey, what's up, guys? How are you? How's everything? Hi. Hi. How are you? Nice, nice to, to meet you. Nice to meet you. You we too. We watch you every day. You do? Every we day? Do every day. I said, <laughs> oh, there's his truck. Wow. We're, what's your guys' names? Uh, I'm Kathy, he's John Conley. Hey, nice to meet Brad you guys. Yeah. Really nice to meet you guys. You know this guy? It's Gary Donovan, Gary Donovan. Road Gary? Plates. Oh, yeah. nice Gary's all you. over social media too, very yeah. entertaining. Yeah. 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 Great videos. Thank we you so much. Them. You're my next one. I'm filming right now. <laughs> I know, so, I know. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're live. <laughs> yeah. You're live. Yeah. Well, awesome. It's thank nice you very to much. meet you. You too. Thank you. Yeah. That means a lot. Yeah. All right. Well, all, right. all right. We're walking. All right. All right. We'll see you later. All right. Enjoy. So that's pretty much it, Mike, how it started. And we just, we ran from there and battled the ups and downs of the economy and, yep. and just focused on, on rope plate and, and boxes. What's up, boys? What's up, Mike? What's up guys? Hey, hey Waltham boys. So, so what, what got you, like, you started in the business? What, 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 I started in the utility business. But how? And, like, and, what, and was, what was, what was, did you I grow up of, in it? No, I got out of high school and, and uh, took, took um, like, mechanical drawing mm -hmm. and decided that, I didn't want to be behind a desk as an architect. Yep. I wanted more field work. So I got into construction and utility yep. work and started excavating and dump trucks and backhoes and utility work and then found the need for road plate. And I had loaned more of them out. Really? Every time I needed one, I had to go buy one. Yeah. <laughs> and back then I was charging four bucks a day. So I started charging. Yeah. Uh, that's how it wound up. That's yeah. how. Uh, that's how it all started. So how did you, so how did you end up getting into trucking with the with the road plates? So you mean adding the trucking? To yeah. The, adding it. Yeah. So I, I always had a thing for trucks. My father was in the trucking business. Okay. And, and my father and my uncle, his brother Mike, owned a trucking business. What kind of trucking? Freight they trucks. Do? Yeah. Yeah. They had six like uh, six wheelers, cow, uh, seventy five hundred GMC. Oh and, yeah. Where yeah, were they out of? They were out of South Boston. We have a big family garage in South Boston oh. that we all grew up in. Still there today. Really? And yeah, yeah. Okay. On East Eighth Street. Okay. Yeah. I have an idea so what that is. Five fifty one East Eighth. Okay. So we ended up, we ran out of there for years, and uh, when they gave up the trucking business, we I moved in right around eighty three. Okay. Kept all the vehicles and started. That's that was our starting point right there. Really. Yeah, wow. right, in the, right in the community of South Boston. Wow. Now, is this your first tractor you bought? This tractor I bought, I bought this from, uh, I bought this from New Hampshire Peterbilt. Okay. That's 60,000 miles on it when I bought it. I never dimed well, my name when I bought it. What year is the tractor? It's a 93. You didn't have a dime in your name? I never dime in my name. Nope. Signed and, on the dotted line. And did you drive it? I drove that truck. Uh, I probably got 450,000 miles on that truck. Really? Yep. Yep. That was my, that was my rig. See, I, I bet it's surprising to some people that they don't realize you were a driver. I was a driver. Point. Yeah. I got more mileage in reverse like you than than, <laughs> than, uh, than the average guy going forward. So when you first started driving, so what year was that? When uh, you the truck? Right. Well, I mean, in the 80s I drove, okay. I, but I had I had dump trucks. This was my yep. first over-the-road tractor. 
Um, but I drove, it was myself when I got into the yeah. plate business. I had, you know, my mother was running the office and, okay. and uh, I had one other driver and a yard guy and that was it. So I spent, I used to do the paperwork and computer work right from the cab of the truck. Oh. Oh. And you start started growing from there? That was it. Yeah. And now where are you guys now, Walpole? We're in Walpole. Yeah, we're in There's Walpole. A shop there? Shop that is in Walpole. So we have we have three, four buildings in Walpole. So we have three warehouses up the street, and then the main office you see okay. on Route 1A there yep. is, is, is where we still run out of. And then all our sales are done in Bangor, Maine. Okay. So the phones are answered in Maine, dispatched to us in Boston. Now, are you custom making plates? Yeah, we do. Custom yeah. welding and plates. So, so where, put, where does the steel come from? So the steel... The steel now is all United States steel. Everything's okay. U.S. Awesome. Back seven, eight years ago, everything was imported. Yep. There was a mix of China in here. Mm -hmm. But all that steel's rated steel. All that steel, even though it comes from China, Austria, Sweden, Russia, yep. back then, it was all still up to spec of uh, American steel. But now it's all now it's all American. Everything there's nothing there's nothing import here now. So a truck is delivering the steel to your place, or you go in? Yeah, yeah, no, it we yourself? do both. We yeah. do both. Yeah. So we yeah. call the mill, or uh, whoever's, you know, the middleman in between the mill and the vendor, and we truck it all in. If we can't get a truck, then we go get it. Okay. We'll run and go get it. Okay. And you got anybody driving this truck right now? Right now, it's currently empty. There's You're no one for in a the driver? seat. No one in the seat. So what what, 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 we're looking. So what's a guy? What's a guy schedule like coming to work for you? And what? What do you expect out of him? So I expect. Um, well, I mean, the, the, we start early. We like to start at, you know, What's 5.30, early, 5? 6 o'clock. Yeah, That's 5 30, 6 o'clock. So the guys beat the beat the, the 95 traffic yep. into Boston or into Connecticut, okay. wherever our first load is. And then um, uh, we, they're gone one night a week usually. So that's a requirement. That's Whether they're bad. in the bunk or they're in a hotel, it doesn't matter. Great. You know, to us. So, and that's the turnaround. Because if, if, if he's empty in New Haven, Connecticut, and we got something in Philly, yep. he's got to be able to turn there. Yeah pick up his load, and then turn around and come back the next day. Now, are these guys on mileage? Are they on hourly? No, they're on hourly. hourly. We pay hourly. We pay, yeah, we pay hourly port to port. Okay. Uh, and then they get a, they if they stay in a hotel overnight, they get a meal allowance, and then they get paid, they get the hotel room paid, and then yep. they get, uh, I think we pay $65 a night Beautiful. for them to sleep. Nothing wrong with that. No, it's nothing wrong. It's, like a nice I, job. I think it works. Yeah, I think yeah, it one works. night a week, you get a little break from the <laughs> you get away from, from the, the wife, family. The kids, yeah, right. I, I, might, I might be. A, you know, <laughs> if I'm not such a good job, I don't know, I'd be you might never call me again. Yeah, though. that's true. Yeah, no, I'm not going anywhere. But you know, I keep that in the back of my mind. So, what else can you tell me? What's the future of road plates? So, we're currently looking at uh, franchising. Oh. We're working with a few, um, uh, a few different franchise options. Um, there's no investors involved. It's, it's basically me, and, mm -hmm. I, and and right now we're just answering the phone and kind of going with what comes in. You okay. know, I mean we're running, we're running all of Pennsylvania, yep. Southern Ohio, um, New York, Rhode Island. Yeah. So we're hustling. You know what I mean? We use about 11 hired trucks a day out of out of road plates. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. So it's pretty. You know, small ramp trucks, small guys. Okay. We get it done. We cover all of Eversource. Okay. So we're covering three states for Eversource. Now you do a lot of traveling too. I travel. I'm. I'm. You're using, in a motorhome. I got a. I got a. Uh, a Forty-four. Well, what's foot that all about? For pleasure or business? No, or it's both? business. It's yeah? business. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's business. Seems like yeah. you're having a good time out yeah. there. Yeah. What, it's what, all why about not? branding, Michael. It's all about branding oh, and uh, you're a getting the brander. name out there. And yep. and uh, when COVID hit, uh, that's my that's my third motorhome, okay. all in that class, you know. Yep. But I had gotten out of it. And then when COVID hit, I'm like, what? What? Else, how else am I gonna cover the customer? Mm -hmm. And couldn't go into hotels, so this way here, I kind of had my freedom and and in the marketing and yep. and then TikTok threw it, it kind of took off. Yeah, right. you pretty know? big on TikTok. TikTok's pretty. TikTok's, TikTok's pretty TikTok's awesome. I'm telling the people at home, I go, get a follow on me on TikTok. That's my favorite. The power of of social media. Um, me and Ryan left. Me and Ryan pulled out of Florida last late January, early February, yep. and trucked up through Alabama. By the time we got into Tennessee, coming out of Alabama and up the East Coast, um, we had over 2,200 messages oh my God. between Snapchat, TikTok, Facebook, you know, in just yeah. snaps of the of the bus and, and right. pulling a road plate truck behind it. So it's so it's brand recognition, I yeah. you know. You know that. Yeah, and you, you're, you're sending 
hoodies to people and hats and stickers and you're yeah you're getting your name out there the the merchandise um for like all the major TikTokers and, and uh, Instagram and whatever, we send those out. Those yep. all go out too. The hats and whatever. That's People amazing. love it. It's it's. There's no more marketing on diner placement. You know, like uh, placemats and. Yep. There's no more phone book. There's nothing. So my my concept is get it out. Get it out in something someone's gonna wear and give somebody a product that you're gonna wear, right. not not polish the car with on Sunday. You sure. Know, quality of a shirt. And you you could teach teach a class in marketing. I mean, you're like a master at it. I have fun with it. I really have I really have fun and enjoy and a you, lot of time. Your my videos are fun. Yeah. The, it's it's fun making them. You know. Yeah. My kid looks at me sometime. Ryan goes, Dad, you can't put that up there. <laughs> I'm like, Well, we'll tone it down just a little bit. You know what I mean? You yeah. Can, and it's fun. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. No, it, it's really entertaining to watch and. And I'm sure you get some uh, some hate and some probably more compliments, but you probably get a little bit. The of hate. hate is there. You're always yeah. going to get the. Uh, it's funny the license plate on one of my cars is high hater, <laughs> because you get the hate, yeah. and the hate the hate builds the company. You yeah. know what I mean? You, you you're going to always get that. You guy deal with just... it really in a good classy way. Why not? Yeah. Yeah, Embra fun with it. Embrace the hate. Yeah, that's what I say. Right? Yeah. They're people. Yeah, yeah. They got to live. I mean, yeah. if if your life sucks, become a hater. I guess you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, awesome, Gary. I right. covered it all. I watch you all the time. Thank You're one you of my much. favorite guys. Probably one it. of the most gentlemen truck I think I've ever met in the brand. Thank you very much. Yep. I'll give you that 20 bucks earlier. <laughs> all right, Gary. Nice talking to you. All right. All, all right. right. All right. All right.